I've been using the Home ZX Severac battery for about a month now and they've been working flawlessly. In this video, I will be showing you what the Home ZX Smart BMS app looks like. I went to the Enjoy app and looked for the Home ZX Smart BMS app and downloaded it. This is what the app looks like after downloading it. There's no information need from you in order to use this app, which is great. To connect to a battery, click on search, then click connect on the battery that you want to be connected to. After you are connected to the battery, you can change the name. Just click on the pencil icon next to S or 1 to do so. After connected to the battery, you can turn off charge and discharge. Let me turn both of them back on since I do not want to leave them on off. This battery is currently sitting at 45%. If I click on voltage, I will be able to view all 16 cells. Thanks to the active balancer, all of them are sitting at 3.301 volt. Next, I click on ENV with the temperature sign. I get various temperature reading, including mass fed and ambient temperature, along with four other temperature in the pack. Power and current are showing zero because the battery are not being used at the moment. Next, I click on warning at the bottom tab. There are three main options on here, which are charge state, discharge state, and other state. In addition, those three options will have a variety of all your protection and warning in them. Next, I click on parameter, then battery parameter settings. And here, it looks like you got the option to change the parameter to exactly what you want, such as voltage protection, overcurrent protection, high and low temperature protection. If you ever change the perimeter and want to go back to factory, click on factory data reset. Now let's compare this battery cell to the two other batteries. The cell are sitting at 3.301 volt and the battery is currently at 45%. Let me connect to the second server rack battery. This battery is sitting at 43%. Let's look at the cells. Those cells are only 0.002 volt higher than the previous battery. Now let me connect to the last Severac battery. This battery is currently sitting at 44%. Those battery cells are 0.005 volt higher than the first battery. A 5 millivolt gap is minuscule. This gap within a pack would be acceptable as well. This Hamziak app is basic but seems to have everything that is required. I really like there's no login required to use this app. I will leave the link below if you want to check out all the batteries that Hamzi Inc. have available. If you decide to make a purchase, you can get 5% off with my link. I hope this video was informative. If you like this video, you might enjoy the recommended videos. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. See you in the next video.